and 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 welcome back to a, a wonderful video with no editing. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> wow. Um, in this video, we're going to unbox heaps of cool fish. Um, I think I've got some little barramundi. There's heaps of live bearers. There's some really cool tetras. I jump to the better fish, which is in the last video. So let's go and do that. And I have jumped to the past because I can do this in videos or in a video. I am the video. So if you didn't see the last video with all the new better fish, still got quite a few. Um, obviously sold tons today. Thank you to everyone that turned up and got some really awesome betters. Um, the deal is still on. So if you haven't seen the deal, go watch the other video. Um, that is a nice better fish. Always got bloody stuff on my glass. That is a beautiful fish. So some koi's, deltas, all sorts of stuff. Look at that one. A lovely fish. So if you want to deal on better fish, quickly watch the other video. It doesn't expire till like tomorrow, if it's Saturday today. You'll figure it out, it's in the video. Anyway, let's go to some unboxing. Okay, we have three boxes of fishes. So we are gonna do it a little bit differently this time. Go through all the bags, then stick them in some tubs, then we have tanks. So we'll go all through these super, super quick. Um, lots of different things in here. So not entirely sure what we've got. Looks like balloon mollies. So we will jump and I have them all open. So um, what have we got here? We have some really nice sword tails. So really bright. They are a lovely sword tail. Uh, next bag we have white cloud mountain minnows, lovely little cold water fishes. We have, what are they? Platties, super cool sunset platties. We've got little barramundi. Oh, they're so cute. Um, yes, five to six foot long. Monsters eat everything. Very, very cool little fish. So little barra, barramundi. Every day is a Sunday when you're fishing Barra Monday. Um, we have some, what are they? Dalmatian mollies, lovely little. We have some reticulated loaches, decent size on them. Great snail eaters, but they will nip at little fishes. Um, black sword tails, they're kind of cool. So they'll go obviously blacker. Um, oh, that bag there. We have some really big electric blue Akaras. So they're a decent size. I can see males, are they females? There's a female. So yeah, they're breedable size at that and they will color up really, really nice as you can even see them in the bag. So that was the first bag. We have lemon tetras. We'll show you them in the tubby thing. We have, oh, what are they? They are neon tetras. There should be a whole lot of bags of neons. There are, oh, long fin angels. They're kind of cool. Long fin gold angels. I forgot there's a whole lot of angels in here somewhere. Uh, Raminos, they have not coloured up, but they will colour up. We have bigger angelfish, some monsters in there. We have more angelfish in there, we'll leave them in there. We have Albino Corridorus. Look at us going for it. There are, what are they? They look like. They're Corridorus, we know that. They are Sturbays, Corridorus Sturbay. So Sturbays, more big angels. What are they? More neons. We have a tiger. Meow. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Jinx. Um, there is some dwarf garamis. Are they tigers? No, they're not. The tiger's in the box, weird. Um, more dwarf karamis. Okay, so those are those two boxes. Last box, what is in here? More angelfish, looks like normal gold angels. We have more reticulated loaches, so obviously I've got a fair few of those. Oh, that's a nice platy. There's some really nice platies in there. Look at the cool, there's a cool stripy one hidden at the back. So nice platies, bright red platies. We have Oh, uh, what are they? Black Phantom Tetras. They will go black, obviously. There are, uh, oh, some really nice mollies. Some nice light tail mollies and gold light tails. We have, oh, they are red line torpedo barbs. Jumpy red line torpedo barbs. Really, really nice fish. More angel fish. There's quite a few angels. More mollies. Oh, look how little they are. 
Well, there's some really nice jet black balloon mollies in there. We have, oh, yay! We have a nice batch of Burmese Rummy Nose. And I did see a male or two in there. So they will color up really, really nice. Yay, we have Burmese Rummy Nose. And the last thing we've got is more Dwarf Garamis. So, you probably don't need to see them in tubs, so we're just gonna go straight to them in fish tanks because this is gonna be a quick video and not terribly boring. No watching fish for hours with music and stuff. You probably want that, but if you want that, comment down below. But we're gonna go straight to fish tanks now. Ah! Okay, just to prove that I'm not the only weirdo <laughs> in the village, um, the tiger was on the invoice for $10,000. $10,000 wholesale for a tiger? But anyway, we are now going to check out some fishes. So here are the red line torpedo barbs. They haven't colored up, but they are pretty already. So really, really nice red line torpedo barbs. Um, more dwarf gouramis, I was gonna call them giant gouramis, but they're not giants, they're dwarfs. Sorry, no giant gouramis. Um, we will jump to some lemon tetras. So there are some lovely lemon tetras in there. Again, algae on the glass, but you know, it's not enough days in my hour, right? We have some balloon mollies. Oh, the reflection's killing us. So there are the balloon mollies way down the back, if you can see those. Um, tons and tons of platies. There are lots of platies. There they are. So some really nice platies in here. I think there was some blue ones somewhere. There's the stripy one, gone now. There's a hyphen platy. So they're all the same price. So hyphens and stuff. I think there's only one or two hyphens, sorry. Yeah, so lots and lots of platies. We have mollies, 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 mollies. So Dalmatian mollies. There's some Lytale mollies in there. Quite a few different mollies. Creeping along here, we have our neon tetras. It doesn't look like 150 neons, but that is 150 neons. True, still coloring up. We have lots of Albino Corydoras. Lovely little guys. They are all darting around the table. Are. Over here we have Black Phantom Tetras. So they've just come in. Another really nice Tetra. Perfect for community tanks and that. If you can see them in there, there they are. That's a better focus. There we go. So lovely, lovely fishes. Uh, moving along, what have we got? We have reticulated loaches in here. Also very cool. So lots more reticulated loaches back in stock. They just had some black worms, so they're all meaty. Aren't they cool? They're very cool fish. These are uh, Kilbensis, which is a dwarf African cichlid with a low pH. And there's some really nice Congos in there. Look at them. They are lovely fish and they're on special. They're like three for $18 and so they're a decent size. Oh, we do have the albinos. Let's go to the albinos because they're just starting to get color. Oh, and the reflection, a horrible, horrible reflection. But yeah, those are the albino Congo. So we've got lots more of those in too. Just forgot to post we had more of those, but how pretty are they? They are nice, nice fish. Um, while we're here, angelfish. Lots of angelfish just come in. So these are all little guys. So I think there's a mixture of bell tails and all sorts in here. Hopefully we'll have some more local angels soon. So these are guys, I think they're from, yeah, they're from North Queensland. I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure these are Australian bred as well. Some really nice angels in there. Um, we did get some bigger angels and they are very blue. Um, so I'm guessing they're blue Philippine angels. They are under a bluish light, but you can tell they've got blue on them all hiding at the back. There we go, so lots of bigger angel fish that have just turned up. We've got Burmese Rominos, we'll jump to them. And they are a much better batch than the last ones. They're actually starting to get the blue on them with the red noses already. Um, so you can tell males and females. So everyone that wanted the last batch and we didn't sell them because they were a bit mingy, come in, they are awesome this time. And there's a fair few of them, lovely little community fish. There's the meaty pygmy Corridorus. They are lovely, look at them. Those are some huge girls. Some more up there with the reflection. But yeah, really nice and healthy this time. There's a fair few of those as well. Look at the meatiness of that one. How cute are the barramundi? They are so cute. Look at them, look at their little stripes. So yeah, fair few of these little guys. Look at that one being all stealthy. 
So they should be eating pellets. They are captive bred. Every day is a Sunday when you're fishing barramundi. And there's the rummy nose. They haven't coloured up yet, but you can just start to see their red noses and cool stripy tails. So lots of rummy nose back in stock as well. Hoorah, there's a few albinos left from the last batch, like maybe three or four, you can see them in there. Still a super cool little fish. And we have the neon blue Akaras. They are really, really nice. So I think we've got about 20 of these. Um, yeah, obviously males and females. They are breedable size. Look how pretty that is. Um, one of the medium size American cichlids. So you don't want to mix them with guppies and stuff, but they're okay with bigger tetras and so on and so on. You can see them through the bubbles. Very, very blue. That's their natural coloration. Um, they're line bred of your normal blue Akara. Such a pretty fish. So, um, if you like this video, click the thumbs up. Um, all that wonderful stuff. Subscribe if you want to see more. Click the little bell thing, apparently. If you click the bell thing, you get to see videos when I post them, which is like now if you're watching this one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we will see you in the next video. Bye. So the difference between a sword tail and a flatty is not just the shape of the tail. Otherwise, female sword tails would be flatty. Oh, I better not bore you in this vicinity. Ah.